ladies, it's just me again. <laughs> Thought I'd make a quick little video this morning. Um, me and my little one, Lily. And um, just want to encourage you and in, in me, since I have these big household tasks ahead of me. And, um, you know, sometimes it could just seem so overwhelming. You start in one room and then all of a sudden you turn around and little Lily just destroyed the room you just cleaned. <laughs> So I don't know what you're facing today, but um, I started reading this book last night and it's really, really good. I've only a few pages, a couple chapters into it, but I didn't want to put it down and it's called Pleasing God by Kay Smith. So if you're able to pick up a copy of that and read it, um, you won't be disappointed. But <laughs> it really encouraged my heart because she was talking about in all things that were to please God. And she says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor, for Thou hast created all things, for, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Yeah. And she was just talking about how we were created for God's pleasure. And whatever it is that we do, we should do um, to be pleasing to God. And she you know, gave some examples and being a wife and being a servant and loving others and um, how we're to do all of that for the glory of God. And how often, I just love this part in the book where she talks about, um, you know, we're not always solid in that. We go through phases where we're just so um, on fire and doing those things that please the Lord. And then all of a sudden we fall back and... Um, I just love the realness of how she shares through her struggles and her battles because that encourages me. Um, sometimes, you know, we look in on other people's lives or their Instagram or their Facebook and everything just looks so perfect. And you're just like, wow, what is wrong with me? Why can't, you know, why am I struggling? And that's the reason for this vlog. And I know in the last one I got a, a little bit... Um, more real than usual and I'm just I watched and I was like whoa you know um, but that's what I want this to be I want it to be real I want you guys to look in and be able to see the realness and it's not always easy the struggles are real but that God will be with us through it all in every single season in the seasons of doubt in the seasons of fear in the seasons when we fail him and we're not um, pleasing him he's always gonna be there with us so I just love um, what I read last night and she was just saying to do things um, in an attitude of love and whatever it is so today will I clean my house and get things in order in my home and let me tell you this is a crazy madness we have going on right now look at my living room ladies um, looks like a playpen I haven't got the tree put away because uh, my husband's leg is hurt and he's not able to lift anything heavy but let me show you what I'm going to tackle today so you guys can pray for me, okay? Because this is some crazy madness we have going on. This is the hallway leading to my girl's room. <laughs> and we haven't had a chance to get in here and straighten it out since Christmas break. So I am going to tear this bad boy apart today. <laughs> get it all in order I hope and we'll see what comes of it but we're gonna get rid of a lot of stuff today and um, get some stuff boxed up and put away and try and get things in somewhat of an order so pray for me I'm praying for you and just let's do everything for the glory of God's name even if it's cleaning house changing pampers um, serving our husbands serving our children it's not always fun but let's do it as unto the Lord and watch him move and if you get a chance really pick that book up I couldn't put it down last night and um, be encouraged I love you ladies and let's keep pressing on towards the upward call of God